Hi ladies, it's Valerie. Um, this is beta number six, I think. Um, yes, today is the sixth. Uh, I'm going to be sharing our birth plan and I hope I can do this in less than 10 minutes. It might not happen, but um, we took our, you know, our Bradley classes and class number seven was about planning for your labor and birth. We actually didn't spend too much time on it in the class. But um, the book did have just some helpful, um, you know, guidelines, and our um, our instructor gave us a sample, um, you know, birth plan to kind of follow the best way, um, and the best outline way that I saw was the one that she provided, where you kind of um, list the categories on the side here, and then list your your preferences on that side, um, and there's a short little intro. So I also did. Um, you know, I've been doing a ton of research since we got, since we got pregnant, and um, I just knew that there were certain things that we wanted, certain things that we didn't want. Um, I also have about six pages here of, like, sample birth plans, um, you know, that I have found online um, with a bunch of different links and things. So, um, you know, I just Googled them. I also watched YouTube videos. So, again, there were a lot of different, different things to go through. Um, when writing your birth plan, I would just suggest, again, um, maybe jotting down, again, I first jotted down on some notebook paper, um, you know, some things that I knew that we wanted and some things that I knew that we wanted to include. And then, again, I looked up online and looked at some samples and, you know, YouTubed. So um, I really honestly didn't even look at this book while I was planning, but um, basically it just says know your options. So again, research, examine your feelings, you know, think about what's most important to you and your husband. Um, you know, write out your birth plan and consider your priorities. Um, they say start with a positive statement, list your choices in order of importance, most important first. I don't think that I did that, but because um, all of it's important. Um, evaluate your situation, are your choices realistic? Um, are most of your preferences openly supported by your birth team? If not, will you compromise or make other arrangements? Um, meet with your medical professionals. This is something that we actually have our midwife appointment tomorrow and she asked us at our last appointment if we had um, written a birth plan yet and so I told her no. I said we were working on it um, and that we'd bring it next time so that's tomorrow. So that's why I thought this would be an appropriate time to do this one. Um, prepare for a positive experience. Um, you know you want to write your birth plan as you know as if it's going to happen. Um, you know, but you do want to be realistic, I think, and, you know, you want to be flexible. So, um, you know, the most important thing really is a healthy mom and healthy baby. Um, however, there are things that you can do, um, you know, a healthy mom uh, with good nutrition and, um, you know, low risk, you're obviously going to have more options than somebody who is a little bit more unhealthy, you may have more risk factors, and there are things that, um, you know, I believe that nutrition and exercise can greatly help with, but I also know that there are some things that um, nutrition just, you know, and exercise, you know, I do know that there are some things out of control, out of, you know, your control sometimes. So um, just to kind of preface with that. Um, and in saying that, I will just say, um, you know, our birth plan is very natural, unmedicated is what we want. Um, and again, we are very open. I understand that we might not get everything we want, so just take that as it is, and I will go ahead and read our plan. So at the top, I just have Valerie and Doug's birth plan. Um, we are expecting our first baby boy and are very excited to meet him through a natural, unmedicated birth. Our goal for our birth is to experience a home-like style birth in a hospital setting with the supportive staff at your facility. Um, we have our doula's name, will be present with us for labor support. We ask that all, of the, all other visitors and unnecessary staff be turned away until we have had time alone with our new baby. The birth plan is based on an uncomplicated labor and birth. We understand that certain emergency or other medical circumstances may not allow for the accommodations of the goals listed below. We appreciate all information you can give us so we can make an informed decision in the care of Valerie and our baby. Um, so first thing, I have atmosphere. The birth environment is important to us. We prefer a relaxed atmosphere with everyone in the room calm. We ask that the lights be kept dim, noise to be kept to a minimum, and the door to be closed for our privacy. We will bring our own music. Valerie would like to labor and deliver in her own clothing. Pain relief. We understand our options and will ask if needed, but please no suggestions from staff. Comfort tools. We would like to access the birth pool, shower, extra towels, and supportive words from those in the room. 
Valerie prefers to eat and drink freely to sustain her energy throughout labor and delivery. IV, no IV. Valerie will consent to a hep block if necessary. Valerie prefers not to have a catheter unless determined to be required for another procedure to facilitate delivery. Monitoring, intermittent monitoring throughout labor and birth. Limited cervical checks only as requested by Valerie. Pushing, Valerie would like to push spontaneously. Coaching may be appreciated during the crowning phase to help minimize tearing. She will ask for help as needed. Valerie wants to birth in the position that is most, com most comfortable and effective for her, such as squatting, kneeling, or standing, etc. The birth, no episiotomy unless baby is in distress. Valerie Doug would like to catch the baby if appropriate, and Doug would like to help place baby skin to skin on Valerie immediately. Doug would like to clamp and cut the cord after a generous delay until the cord has stopped pulsating. Please delay all routine exams of baby until after the baby's first breastfeeding session. All exams and procedures are to take place with, with baby on Valerie's chest. If baby's temperature is a concern, we would like for him to remain skin to skin with Valerie until it is established. Placenta, natural unhurried birth of placenta with Valerie pushing. Please avoid administering Pitocin, aggressive traction on the cord, or manual removal of placenta. Breastfeeding, breastfeeding on demand. No artificial nipples or supplements are to be introduced. Newborn care, we will keep our baby in our room at all times. He is not to be given a bath or have any disinfecting agents used on his skin during our stay. Eye ointment, decline. Hep B vaccine, decline. Vitamin K, decline. Circumcision, decline. C-section, in the event of a C-section is medical, if in the event a C-section is medically needed, Doug will be present. We prefer epidural anesthesia, horizontal cut, double layer of sutures on the uterus, baby skin to skin ASAP with help breastfeeding, um, help with breastfeeding within the first one to two hours of birth. So, I read that really quickly because um, I'm trying to squeeze this in. Um, I hope if you are trying to like jot some stuff down, you can just pause and rewind. Um, but that is our plan. We do have, you know, there are a couple things on there that again, I know, um, you know, can be flexible. So, Again, the atmosphere, when you go into your hospital room, you are paying good money for that room. That room is yours, just like when you go to a hotel. Um, we are planning on bringing uh, flameless candles, um, a pool noodle. We're, we're going to make, and I'm going to do videos on this, we're going to do a labor bag, a postpartum bag, and his diaper bag. Um, the labor bag is so when we get to the hospital, um, hopefully we will be, you know, be in active labor already. Um, we're planning on doing most of our you know, early labor at home if possible, so we can just grab the labor bag. We don't have to grab a bunch of bags right then. We have our labor bag with our labor tools. We go in, you know, hopefully our doula will already be with us, um, you know, and, we, and we're good to go. Um, you know, so again, we are prepared to take my, um, you know, my, my exercise ball. Um, I'll, I'll go over the tools when I, um, when I do our bag video. Um, let's see, I was trying to look and see if there's anything else. Um, I did mention that we, we took our water birth class and we have our certificate for our particular hospital. Um, you know, as far as pushing goes, um, I've never done this before. I'm sure, you know, I put coaching may be appreciated and then I would, you know, ask for help. I'm sure that it'll be great. Again, our practice is awesome. Our OB that backs them is awesome. He actually performs what's called a natural C-section where um, that big, you know, blue um, sterile field is lowered so you can see kind of what's going on. He still has a sterile field, but um, you're able to see what's going on. And, uh, and that's really awesome. Uh, so, and you know, he encourages putting the baby right on you as well. So we feel really comfortable with our practice and with their physicians. So um, our birth plan is again, just a tool for all of us to know, uh, you know, how we would like things to go. And I don't think that we'll have any problems with those, um, you know, supporting us. And we're going to, um, you know, just try to ask if there is a nurse that prefers um, to assist with natural births that we could use her um, or him. And that's pretty much our plan. So anyway, um, that's our birth plan. <laughs> Very rushed. I'm going to take a breath now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, uh, leave a comment below. All right. Thanks. Bye.